You've heard it said, you are what you eat. It's a phrase that means the foods we consume, good and bad, are assimilated into the makeup of our bodies. These foods, biologically and chemically, become us. And today, as we consider Revelation chapter 10, we see this symbolism used in a spiritual way. This chapter begins with another mysterious scene, a mighty angel coming down from heaven with a scroll. And this scroll, although small and already opened, has great significance. In verse 9, John said, So I went to the angel and told him to give me the small scroll. Yes, take and eat it, he said. It will be sweet as honey in your mouth, but it will turn sour in your stomach. So I took the small scroll from the hand of the angel, and I ate it. It was sweet in my mouth, but when I swallowed it, it turned sour in my stomach. Eating the scroll is symbolic for the words of the scroll becoming personal to John as they're taken in. And it can be the same for us as we consume God's Word. As we read or feed upon God's Word, it's sweet to the taste, often bringing comfort to our souls. But as we think on it further, as we begin to understand what it means to us personally, the taste of God's Word can sometimes sour as we anticipate the doing of it. There's preparation required and much work to be done. Often God's Word requires changes to our attitudes and actions that are difficult, even painful. God's Word calls us to become individually involved and many times willing to embrace sacrifice and suffering to be obedient. But take heart, it's all part of His plan, part of the sweetness that returns as we see the fulfillment of God's Word in our lives. And as His Word becomes us, we, as John did, have the great privilege of proclaiming the Word of God to those around us. So let's read God's Word together today, Revelation chapter 10 and let it do its intended work in us and through us to the glory of God.